Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the sequence and series. Today we will start the infinite series and the first test is the nth term test. Myself, Dr. Gurk, working in the School of Mathematics Thapar Institute. You can simply follow my this YouTube channel link for finding the various videos on real analysis. So what is the infinite series? If you have a sequence a n and then we can write the expression as a1 plus a2 plus a n and so on, this is called as the infinite series. Here a n is called as the nth term of the series. If the sum of this series exists and they were finite, then we can say the series is convergent. Otherwise, we can say it's a divergent. For example, if you consider the term 1 by 2n, one is called as the sequence and another is a series. Clearly says that 1 by 2n is converges to the 0 as n approaches infinity. Now here you can see 0 is a unique and the finite. So we can say it's a convergent sequence. On the other hand, how you can find the series? It's from 1 to infinity. If uh, uh, nothing is defined, we can define as a 1 to infinity. Or you can say it's a 0 to infinity. N is 0. So this is a GP series. So the sum of the GP series is 1 upon 1 minus here. So if you start from the N is equal to 1, then it will be my half upon here. This is a 1. So we can say the corresponding series converges to the 1 when N start from the 1 to infinity and converges to the 0. Uh, sequence converges to 0 but series converges to the 1. If from this series that is from here if I define the partial nth partial sum what is that nth partial s1 is a1 s2 is a1 plus a2 s3 is here and so on then this sequence the sequence si is called as the partial sum of the sequence. If this partial sum of the sequence is convergent then we can say the series is also be a Convergent. So this is a necessary condition. This is a necessary condition for the series convergent. The necessary condition for the series convergent is when is nth partial sum sequence is convergent. Remember, this is the sequence. This is my sequence, and this is my series. So that remember that. So it, once you can prove that it's a convergent, then you can write this as an infinite sum. This start from the 1 to infinity and it's a convergent, it converges to the L as here. The behavior of this series is totally dependent on the nth partial sum sequence S n, which are defined like here. If you prove that the sequence is convergent, then the series is convergent. If you prove nth partial sum sequence is divergent, then it's a divergent oscillating, then it's a oscillating. There are the various tests which are available to check whether the series, infinite series is convergent or divergent. We will see these are here. We will uh, explain one by one in each video with the several of the examples. For example, here, what is our technology, uh, what is our approach is we will apply firstly the nth term test to each of the problem. If we will get that desired result, then we can stop. Otherwise, we will try to move on the second. If still we are unable to get this, then we can apply the third and then so on. So in each of these videos, this video and the coming of this one by one video, we will try to give the example, same examples and try to produce the same test one by one. One of the most important result in the infinite series is whenever you have the series is of the positive terms. What is the meaning of the positive term is whenever a n is greater than or equal to zero for all the natural number, then the series is either convergent or divergent. It means it can never be oscillating. If the sequence, if the series, if the infinite series is convergent, then limit and a n is zero is must be there. This is must, but converse is not true. Converse not true. Why? Because you can see this is the example and we will see in this uh, in the couple of the examples after. You can see a n, if I say a n is my here, which is zero, but this series is a divergent. We will see in the couple of examples. Now this is the first test which we have studied in this video is that is the nth term test for the divergence. So remember for the divergence, this test is used only to check whether a sequence is divergent or not. So if you have the infinite series, a positive infinite series a summation of the a n, then it's said to be the divergent. If you compute the limit of this a n, if it is failed to exist, that means if it is goes to the plus infinity or minus infinity, or you can say the limit does not approach, does not zero, then you can say it is a divergent 
sequence or series or however if you prove that limit is zero then the series may or may not be convergent so once they are may or may not be convergent then we will apply the various other tests of this form this 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 and this to check whether they are convergent or not so look at that we will explain the eight to nine examples so that you can understand very well so look at that uh, you have to check whether the convergence of the series or not we will start with the nth term test then we will check for the nth partial sum and then so on so remember in for the first case we will take a n is n square my target is to calculate the limit as n approaches infinity check whether it's a fail to exist that means infinity or minus infinity or if it is a not zero then we can say it's a divergent so what is the limit of this it's a infinity that means limit does not exist so once the limit does not exist it's satisfied here so by the nth term test we can say this series is divergent similarly for the second example if i take a n is my n plus one upon this so what is the limit of this so clearly says that i can write this term as here so the limit is my one which is non zero so the second condition satisfied hence by the nth term test this is a divergent series similarly for this case so what is the limit of this so clearly say that it is a minus one or plus one depending upon whether n is even or odd so if it is even then n plus one will be the odd it's a minus one or it will be my here so clearly say that the limit is it the unique no so limit is not unique it means limit does not exist hence by the nth term test it's again a divergent so remember the nth term test is give you only for the divergent series look about this one again we will check for here what is the limit of this so i can write this term as 1 plus 2 over n so what is the answer of this as n approaches infinity it's a 1 which is a non zero so again it's a divergent series how you can say that now if you take as infinity so it will be infinity minus infinity which is undefined infinity minus infinity is undefined so how you can do that we can rationalize that so after rationalization this will be here now you can take as a infinity you can take divided both side by n root n then it will be give as a half which is a non zero that is the nth term test give you divergent clearly for the last case you can see this is there what is the limit of this it is clearly say that is a 4 by 5 which is a non zero again it's a divergent series now we will consider the case when the limit will goes to the zero but the series still diverges so if you consider the series 1 by n then clearly says that an goes to the zero but here we we need a non zero so what is the meaning of that by the nth term test we can't say it's a convergent we are sure about the divergence if it is a non zero but we are not sure about its convergence so then we will look about the another test so because this test fail for this particular example then we will check for the nth partial sum sequence for this if it is again fail then we will go for his and then solve it so i will explain you in the next video how you can check for the nth partial sum for this example this test will not applicable this is not applicable this test is applicable for this series so now by using the p test that is by using this test we can prove that this is a divergent i simply write for here is what is the p test is if you can compare this in the form of 1 raised to power np this is divergent when p is less than equal to 1 and greater than 1 is a convergent so if you compare them clearly says that p is my 1 so when p is 1 it satisfied here so that's why it's a divergent series look what the other one are there so again look at the first example how you can take the limits you can simply use the standard result limit n approaches infinity x raised to power n upon n factorial we also proved this in when we discussed the sequences are there so you can watch my previous lecture on the sequence you will find this standard results so clearly say that this is for all x in this example x is my 1000 so i can write this term as 1000 raised to power n upon n factorial so it's a 1 by infinity 1 by 0 is a infinity so the limit does not exist so hence by the nth term test is a divergent look what the next example so if you take the limit what is the limit of this so clearly says that what is that it is nothing but my 1 log 1 is 0 
so once it's a zero the series may or may not be convergent so it means we have to apply the another test that is the nth partial sum sequence uh, geometric series p test and so on so we will solve this example with the nth partial sum sequence and we will prove that it's a convergent sequence in our next lecture similarly for this again we can see for this case if i take x this is for all x if i take x is n this value will be my zero so once it's a zero again we can't say it's a convergent or divergent it means we need the another test for this sequence of this series look at the last three examples so if you look about the convergence of the series so first we apply the nth term test what is the limit of this so clearly say that the limit is my minus half which is a non zero so it's a divergent series look about this how you can write this cos of minus so i can write this as minus 1 raised power n so what is the limit of this it is either the positive or negative so clearly say the limit does not exist hence it is a divergent series you know what is the limit of this yes it's a e raised to power minus 1 again it is a non zero so again we can say it's a divergent series so these are exercises for you i give you nine examples are there and these are the answer you can verify it whether all these answers are correct or not you can say this can't be the convergent it means you compute them it will goes to zero and there is a need of the another test are there so then we will see the way, then we will apply this test and then solve we will see the next lecture on this nth partial sum sequence we will solve this again all these examples with the help of next test are there i hope you can simply like comment and share this video with your friends best of luck students happy learning